understanding higher order functions is going to help you write cleaner, more reusable functional code. So what is a higher order function? Well, it's a function that takes at least one or more functions as arguments, or it's a function that returns a function as its result. So how is this possible? In JavaScript, functions are first-class citizens. This means that functions can be passed around as values, even to other functions. And this allows us to do something called composition, where we take lots of functions and compose them together to build features. So why would you use higher order functions? It's going to make your code more reusable, and it can make your code more readable by abstracting details away. If you've written any JavaScript before, you've almost definitely used higher order functions. But having a deeper understanding of higher order functions and being able to explain what they are is going to help you write better code. So what are some higher order functions that you've already used? If you used any of the array methods such as map or filter or reduce, these are higher order functions. Let's go have a look at these functions and see how they are higher order functions. I have this array of data here and it's just numbers one through to 10. We can say const mapped is equal to data.map and if we have a look at the signature for map, you can see that it takes a callback function. And this means that map is in fact a higher order function. So let's write our callback function. So the first argument is going to be our value. In this case, it's going to be a number. The second argument is an index. And then the final argument is the array. So I'm going to call my number n. And then we're simply going to say n times 2. And this is just going to double all of the items inside of the array. With console.log mapped, and you can see that all of our items in the array have been doubled. This is a function here, and we can extract this out into another function. So I can say function double, and we're going to get one argument here, and this is n, and I'm just going to return n times two. And we can move double down into map. And we're going to get the exact same result when we run this function. One thing to note about passing functions into higher order functions is that make sure this function has been written to be passed into this map function here. And the reason for that is because n is not the only argument you're going to get. When we looked at the signature, we can see that we get our value, our index, and our array. So you can see we get our value, index, and the array. So if we pass just any function in here, we might be calling it with arguments that we don't expect. Let's have a look at filter. And in filter, we're just going to say we want to only get the even argument. So we're going to get n modulus 2 is equal to 0. So now we can pass filter in and change map to filter. And now we only get the even numbers. So let's have a go at writing our own higher order function. I'm going to write a filter function. And inside of our filter function, we're going to take an array. And we're going to take a callback function. And I'm just going to call my callback function func. And the fact that this filter function takes a function as its argument means that filter is a higher order function. I'm going to define a result array. I'm going to map through all the values with a for loop. So I'm going to say let i is equal to zero, i less than array dot length, and i plus plus. I'm going to say if, and I'm going to call our function, and then I'm going to pass in the current element from our array as the argument. And if the result of this function call here is true, I'm going to push our current element to the results. So I can say result.push array and the current index. And then finally, we're just going to return our result. So let's use our filter function. So I could say const even is equal to filter. I'm going to pass in my data as the array. And I'm going to write a callback function here that gets one element. Then I'm going to say n modulus 2 is equal to 0. So we're only going to get the even numbers. Let's console log this. And I have a capital I here. Let's make this a lowercase i. And you can see that we only get the even numbers. So you can see that you can use higher order functions to compose new functionality that can be reused throughout your code base. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.